Members of the Salem chapter of the Disabled American Veterans are coming together to show people they are not backing down. 10 News reporter Abby Coleman is working for you to see how they are pushing to reopen the center after financial problems led to suspension. The local chapter for the DAV is, is suspended and closed, which um, is a sad day. Nearly two months after the Salem chapter of the Disabled American Veterans was suspended, members are coming together to raise awareness. Veteran Bob Keitzer says it's time to reopen. I hope that we can correct that and uh, move forward. I've been investigating the DAV's suspension and was told it's because this chapter had not submitted important financial records in three years. Let's get the necessary paperwork in so that hopefully the suspension will be lifted. Members held a rally Monday. Veteran Keith Hager says they're hoping to gain traction to get services back up and running for veterans. There are people that still need that help. The Honor Guard is one of the largest services offered by the DAV, but since its suspension, that shut down too. We cannot provide uh, military honors for those who served honorably in the military. Hager says they can no longer help struggling veterans get on their feet. Just sometimes it's just an ear for them to vent to. Uh, and it is sad that this stuff is not going on anymore. Last week, I spoke with the Virginia chapter of the DAV adjutant, Bob Cox, who says the chapter is under formal investigation. They can have a rally. That's not going to change anything. But members tell me they won't stop until someone at a higher level steps in to start reopening the chapter. What is the DAV doing to open up because this is hurting our area? In Salem, Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.